Four years ago, I stood on a stage, ready to give a speech about lowering the voting age. I challenged the audience with a simple question. What do you think when you look at me? The audience was stunned, and I asked if they thought I was a teenager, a Chinese minority, or an oppressed, immature subject of democracy. After a moment of silence, I finally told them who I really was and why I deserved to vote. As I think back, I realize that a lot of things have changed, but I would still introduce myself with the same four sentences 15-year-old me told that audience. Hi, my name is Sharon. I'm an average kid in school. I like to think, imagine, and write. For me, words are my power and my inspiration day to day. I was born in a small island in Indonesia, where life is simple and people are tightly knit. My grandmother gave me a Chinese name. The second character means peaceful, but I would never describe myself as peaceful. When I was a kid, I liked to climb onto stacks of pillows on the edge of a seat giving my parents heart attacks. My parents never went to college, so they wanted me to have the privilege they didn't have back then. And before I was old enough to go to school, my days were filled with walking trips around town and storybooks. My favorite book was The Little Women. I remember I was surprised when Jo cut off her hair to save her father. I didn't quite understand the meaning of the book back then, but each character gave me the strength to be more than just an average girl. At school, I challenged myself with every aspect, and I discovered that I had a wide range of interests, and I loved learning the most. I think if I had a superpower, it would be to freeze time so that I can learn more things, more possibilities. One of those things is writing. Aside from writing fiction, I also record my life in stories. And when I read my old writings, they seem like letters from someone from another time and space. It's a sense of nostalgia that is even more powerful than photos or videos, as it captured my inner thoughts and my emotions. But all of this started by me writing fanfiction for my favorite cartoons. Yes, a cool thing about me is that I absolutely love cartoons. I learned life lessons from them, and most importantly, I learned English. The one language that later opened up a whole new world for me, through podcasts and documentaries. I started to care about the world, and I fell in love with speeches and debates to discuss about issues that I wanted other people to care about too. But there are other things that have shaped me into the person I am today, and it's the culture I grew up in, and it's the people I grew up with. Throughout my 18 years in Indonesia, I've lived in three different islands with the same sense of community. In my hometown in Tanjung Pinang, I'd feel as though life has no burden, each of us pursuing our own small dreams. In Batam, I became stronger, braver, and even more expressive as it was a city of migrants, people in search for a better life, like my family. Then I spent the last two years in Bali where I'd wake up to people chanting prayers in nearby temples. It's where I began to slow down the pace of my life. I learned to be gentle but also fearless, to be firm in your roots. I do miss Indonesia, and I hope that in 10 years, I have grown more capable to return to my home country and grow my potential there. But I also hope that I'd still be that optimistic 15-year-old girl on the stage, determined to change the world one speech at a time. Thank you.